Okay, this is the second part of the first video. So we were, as I was saying, we we're working for um, this is the question that was given from the tutorial by integration method determine the x and y coordinates of the centroid of the shaded area. So we want to find the centroid of this shaded area over here. Okay, so let's just quickly jump back into it. So we worked through, found the area, and now we're finding the x co coordinate along the x axis. So qy equals I'm just going to just skip the math here because this is just um, a tedious process now. So it's going to be x squared divided by 2 plus x to the power of 5 divided by 40 bounded between 1 and 2. Again, I'm going to have to skip the math here, guys. I'm sure you can figure out what this all means. I mean, if you're up to this level of um, mechanical design, I'm sure your math should be as good. So this is uh, blah, 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 yeah. uh, and then once you have done this quick work through, you get ninety one over forty. Okay. What do we do? Of course, substitute. Okay. So the x bar coordinate actually equals ninety one over 40 multiplied by now here's a just a quick step all you have to do is just invert the area so it's simply just going to be 32 divided by 47 okay so we just inverted the area this is the area okay so we just inverted as seen here okay as I said I don't want to run through the math with you now I'm sure you should know what's going on here this would equal 1.5 oops what kind of 5 is that 1.549 units, okay, along the x-axis, all right? So, whoop-de-doo, we just found for the x-axis. Now, we have to find it for the y-axis, okay? All right, so it's going to be looking for y-bar instead. Um, now, for the y-bar, it's similar to the um, x bar, but it's sort of the opposite way around. Um, okay, now for the y bar, uh, quickly, I'm just going to write you the um, the raw formula. So it's going to be the integral of y multiplied y, as in um, it's the actual function y. Um, in our case, it's um, <coughs> in our case, it's going to be this. Okay. Oh, my bad. I don't. I don't actually mean the function itself, but it's going to be the actual y centroidal distance. Okay, centroidal distance along the y-axis. Okay. So what? What is it? Y two plus y one divided by two. Okay. Don't forget that. And <coughs> dA. Okay. This whole thing divided by a. That's the raw formula. Okay. So let's just start doing the work through now. Um, now, this whole thing is qx, okay? That whole thing is qx equals bounded between 1 and 2, don't forget, 1, 2, and the y bar, which was, what was it again, guys? In our case, it's just y2, 1 divided by 2. Now, why have I done that? Now, remember, y1 equals 0. So it's just y2 divided by 2 plus 0 divided by 2. Obviously, just kick that out. Now, it's going to be y2 divided by 2. And you can have the half of 1 divided by 2 thrown out of the integral. So you don't have that y, um, half running around your integral, integral throughout your um, mathematical working out. <sighs> just not to confuse the question. Um... So you got that y2 kicked out over, um, sorry, you have that y2 here, uh, God damn it. you have that half out here, you have your y here, multiplied by y again, and then dA, okay? Okay, now, um, well, did I just write dA, sorry, my bad, dx, because we just substituted this whole bunch, if you can recall from before, it's just substituting this bunch right here, okay? Just substituting dA. Now, this equals a half 
1, 2, y squared dx, okay? Just keep that in mind. Where qx equals, now let's just substitute for the y squared. Now, again, guys, I want to go for the math here because it's going to be a lengthy, don't want to extend the length of this video, so it's just going to be ah, this function right here, squared, okay? So can you square that function? Whole thing squared? I'm sure you can. Now, let's go ahead and quickly square that. Um, plus 1 plus x cubed divided by... 4 plus x to the power of 6 divided by 64. That whole thing, dx. Okay, now moving on, integral x plus x to the power of 4 divided by 16 plus x to the power of 7 divided by 4. 448, that's a weird 4. It's really hard to use a mouse whilst writing this all out and thinking about the math as well. So yeah, you guys know from previously, substitute your values. So you're going to get 2 plus 16 over 16 plus, what's that, 128? Yep, 128 divided by 448. Don't forget. It's the upper limit, substituted, whole thing, close brackets, subtracts the lower limit substituted here into this um, newly worked out integrated function, 1 plus uh, 1 over 16 plus 1 over 448, close brackets, and this whole thing would equal, inevitably, would equal to... Um, Okay, and this would equal to 1.1105. Now, if you can remember previously, we worked out area, and area is basically just divided by what we just worked out. Remember, this circled part was this whole thing we just did here, okay? This is the circled part. Whoops. This is the circled part, okay? And that's its value in the end. Now, simply divide this by area, okay? So our actual y distance is 1.1105 multiplied by multiplied by 32 divided by 47. And your answer should be, a answer should be, 0 0.756 and that ladies and gentlemen is how do you work out the centroids and yep our answers are correct okay so summary of what we just learnt today I'm just gonna quickly um, show you the formulas that you should memorize okay so firstly the X formula for the X centroid right there need to memorize that and the next formula that you should memorize is this formula here and this is its raw form so don't get confused between that and the initial formula shown okay and another formula you should memorize is your y and your x formulas okay now the reason why I'm not showing you the what the actual um, dx on 2 and y1 equal to 0 and etc. is because this formula is what you should actually memorize for every single case, regardless if y1 or x1 um, or y2 or x2 equals 0. And the last formula that I recommend you to remember is this here. Okay, and I'm sure you know the area formula, okay, from high school. Alright guys, um, so thank you for watching, and I'll upload the next video in the next two to three, uh, two to three days, and this will be this question, 1.3.